Uh, let's talk about Cincinnati right quick. We don't get many opportunities to uh, really discuss them other than when they're playing big-time teams. And they won over Navy 27-20. to 20. Brother, the post-game win expectancy for Cincinnati was 10% based on the stats mm. in the game. I, I mean, there's something to surviving your clunkers and whatnot. My question, if you're Cincinnati, is can you afford to have clunkers when you are shooting for the playoffs? I, I think so, maybe. I mean, we know that Navy is, is a tough place to play, but Navy, you know, didn't have their, their starting quarterback. Well, I'll take that back. He, he did play, but he didn't play well. This was, this was a strange game overall. Uh, here's, here's the overall storyline. Um, Navy was a 29-point underdog here, and they won the yardage 308 to 271. They won drive points 14 to 3. They won rushing 192 to 95. Cincinnati's touchdowns came on 44, 54, and 45 yard drives, so they got short fields. Navy ran 84 plays to only 51. Uh, Cincinnati did win third downs 55% to 33%, and they won yards per play 5.3 to 3.7. But there was nothing in this game that really stood out for Cincinnati. This was a, a, a weird game. A weird game because I had this on one of my TVs and and since he could never put them away it was it was really strange what did so they they lost time of possession by the way 39 to 20 right or 39 and a half to 20 and a half but I is this just a chalk up to it's already been a long season and Navy is a tough team to prep for uh, what what do we make out of this ball game I mean, I don't make anything out of it. They they played badly or mediocrely against a team that was prepared and, you know, doing something a little different, and they got away with the win. That's important. You got to keep doing that. And they, they were up 27 to 10 at one point. Yeah. And, I mean, it took uh, it took an onside they kick did, to get it. They did, yeah, they didn't play a clean game, and that's fine. Yeah, every now and then you're going to run into this. Like, if there's not a bunch of motivation, I mean, my God, they were more than four touchdown favorites in the game. Uh, every now and then you're going to have this. So Casey said, since he carried Navy, everyone bet since he Vegas wanted to create doubt in the public because since he's winning it all this year, <laughs> man, I, I know uh, there's several people that have taken out since he like plus 2,500, uh, national title odds. And I, I mean, I, I would love to see it. It'd be a lot of fun and it'd be a talking point for generations, but I don't know that we are going to see that. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.